All right, so let's look at example three here, uh, application for angle of elevation. All right, so it says the highest mountain peak in the world is Mount Everest, located in the Himalayas. The height of the mountain was determined in 1856 by surveyors using trigonometry long before it was first climbed in 1953. This difficult measurement had to be done from a great distance. At an altitude of 14,545 feet on a different mountain, the straight line distance to the peak of Mount Everest is 27.0134 miles and its angle of elevation is theta equals 5.82 degrees. Approximate the height in feet of Mount Everest. All right, so let's go ahead and draw a picture. All right, so what happened is they were on a mountain here, okay, and the surveyors were on this mountain here, and Mount Everest was over here. All right. So let's see what it says. It says that uh, at an altitude of 14,545 feet on a different mountain. So that means this height here, the mountain they were on, was 14,545 feet. And that's the height there. And then it says the straight line distance to the peak of Mount Everest is 27.0134 miles. So that straight line distance to the peak, that means from here, from here to here. This distance here was 27.0134. And this is miles, okay? And this is feet. All right, so now it also says, and its angle of elevation is theta is 5.82 degrees. All right, so the angle of elevation here is 5.82. Remember, angle of elevation is measured off the horizontal. And here's your angle. This is your angle of elevation measured off the horizontal. So if we draw a straight line here, we come up here, we have a right triangle. This angle of elevation here is 5.82 degrees. And they want to know the height of Mount Everest. Well, we know that this distance here which we have here is 14,545 feet. So what we do is, well, we just find this height here and then add the two together, okay? All right, now they want the measurement in feet. Well, if you notice, this is in feet but this distance here is in miles. So if we calculate this height here, <clears throat> this height here will be in miles. So let's just go ahead and do that, okay? Let's go ahead and calculate the, uh, the height in miles and then we'll convert it to feet. All right, so let me just take this triangle here and I'm gonna redraw it. up here. Okay, so I know this is 5.82. I'm looking for this height. See, that's this side here, x. And I know this is 27.0134. All right, so I've got what? I need to know, and that's a right angle, I need to know the side opposite, and I'm given the hypotenuse. What's opposite and hypotenuse? Well, that's sine. So I know that the sine of 5.82 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And so if I solve this for x, 
I get x is equal to, that's the sine of 5.82 degrees, times this 27.0134. Okay. So if I punch this into my calculator, and make sure your calculator is in degrees, so that's 27.0134 times the sine of 5.82, and that is going to give me x is 2 point and it's 2.7392551.95. If you're doing this for homework, you know, in my math lab, web work, or web assign, or whatever, on, if you're using online homework, you might want to use all the decimals. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to round it to one. And that is miles. <coughs> so we need to convert miles to feet. All right, so how many feet are in a mile? Well, there's 5,280 feet in a mile, in one mile. So we could say that X is equal to 2.7 times 5,280. And so 2.7 times 5,280, that is... 14,256 and that's feet. Alright, so now what we what we can do here is we can call this H the height of Mount Everest. So H is going to be the 14,545 this distance plus this 14,256 and so we get H is, and we end up with 28,801 feet. And so that would be the height of Mount Everest. <clears throat> All right. So I hope the video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.